This video has been sponsored by OBD11. OBD11 is the ultimate portable diagnostic device which allows you to customize, diagnose and program your car from a smartphone. OBD11 is authorized by VW Audi Group and BMW, making it the safest and most reliable way of reading your car's data on the move. To connect and set up the device, simply insert the device to your OBD port and connect it via Bluetooth on the app. Okay, so shout out to my good friend Jack for loaning me his 140 Singers. I don't have one anymore. This is the perfect car to test this out. So let's hop in. I've already got the ignition on and the OBD11 plugged in as we've already mentioned, really, really easy to set up. And actually on here, uh, on the app, you can see that you can obviously scan for uh, various fault codes. So that's something which you can literally carry this on the move with you. Um, and if you get a fault on the dash, you can see what it is, clear it straight away, easy as that. But the one thing I do want to check out is within the kind of coding side of things. To be fair, I am literally modifying my friend's car here, um, which is, I have permission, um, but the startup animation was something I had on my car. So basically when you start it up, you get a nice animation. So I have enough points to do that. We can select the options, so we can click that click activate and that will then do its thing, do its magic and then have a little look and see what it looks like. Ah, there we go. We can now see we've got the M uh, animation on there, which is pretty cool. But as you can see from here, there's so much that you can do. But for me, the most important part of this is actually the um, diagnostics, which you can literally do on the move. It goes through all the different sections uh, within the car's ECU. So yeah, as you can see, four faults found. Uh, we can actually see what they are, which is quite interesting. See the red sections here. We've got one in the gateway, active sound design, body electronics and multimedia, because uh, I highlighted as red. However, if I go back, I can then scroll up clear that make it all nice and done but yeah really really simple and straightforward thing to use obviously you've got the the app on your phone that's just doing its various things uh, but yeah all the details can be found down below but big thank you to obd11 for sponsoring this video and with that said back to the video Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with a TTRS, a car which I absolutely love and actually a car which don't think there's been a video of on the channel before. I adore these cars. I've experienced a few, I believe off camera, but this car is a stage two car running about 550 brake. Yeah, really, really looking forward to this. So what we'll do in usual fashion, I'll introduce you to Will, the owner, we'll have a walk around it and then we'll go out in this 550 brake, stage two TTRS. Okay, so we're joined now with Will, the owner. Mate, thank you so much for coming out on the channel today and showing me this. Really looking forward to experiencing this, actually. Uh, could be a contender of a car I'd like to own one day. I think it's, it's probably on the list. But yeah, no, it's an epic looking thing. You've done a few bits to it. Stage two? Stage like two, yeah. uh, MRC tune. So it has a map switching, uh, 99 RON, 530 horsepower, yep. 750 newton meters. Wow. Um, and the Octane booster map, which is 555 and yep. 750 newton meters. Awesome. I mean, that's some serious power just from a stage two. Yeah, yeah it goes it goes well. Uh, yeah, I can imagine. And it, with the four-wheel drive, does it day in, day out? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, no matter the weather. It's a daily as well? Uh, daily, yeah, yeah, used every day. Um, driven that. across uh, Europe in it, done yeah. Nürburgring, track awesome. days, um, Santa Pod. Oh, you used it properly, that's what I like to hear. That is what I like to hear. How, how long have you had it? Just coming up to two years now. Okay, yeah, nice. Um, so it was bought completely standard. Yeah. All the modifications on here now is what I've done to Awesome, it. epic. Now, obviously we have the bonnet up. I think we'll start with the bits under here. So yeah, if it's all right to, to give us a bit of a bit of a run through. Yeah, so the stage two bolt-ons, um, mm -hmm. it's got the forge hard pipe and elbow. Yep. A custom uh, intake pipe, uh, forge intercooler, the intercooler heat shield and turbo elbow, all, all been ceramic coated um, by advanced coatings. Just to um, basically keep the chips off. And yeah, keep, keep, keep it tidy. Um, yeah. The original intercooler sort of chipped up, um, yes. so it's been ceramic coated, which is nice. held up really well. Uh, 034 Motorsport DSG catch can stop yep. the breather flip, uh, breathing yeah. the oil out. Can be a nightmare, yeah. can it? <laughs> yeah, they, yeah the, the standard breathers like to spray oil all over the base, so <laughs> yeah, that absolutely. just sort of keeps that in check. BCS decat dime pipe on it. Yep. Yeah, that's it in that's terms of uh, performance modifications. Yeah. Um, I think stage two is probably the perfect power for 
anything really, and especially something like this. Yeah. But I mean, you can get some serious power out of it nonetheless. Is it a full system, or is it literally just a downpipe? You've just done? a downpipe, yeah. um, and then it just goes into the um, original Audi Sport yeah. cutback exhaust system. Awesome, awesome. Well, I mean, these things sound the mega anyway. Absolutely mega. Um, round the side, Revo wheels. Yeah, Evo Revo, uh, twenty by nine, each yeah. thirty-five all round. RB Racing front two-piece discs. Yeah. DS one eleven. Uh, front pads, mm -hmm. and then it's got the larger RS6 rear disc yeah. um, with DS2500s in the back. Awesome. Yeah, good setup that. Springs, coilovers? Uh, so it's on 034 Motorsport Springs yep. um, and the standard Magnride dampers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it retains that sort of everyday drivability. Yeah, absolutely. I suppose, yeah, it's still a daily, so you can't go too mad. Yeah. <laughs> Visually as well, it looks absolutely insane. Yeah, so it's... it's town on carbon. Yeah, carbon out pretty much. Um, <laughs> we have the Automotive Passion, front splitter, front carbon blades, yep. uh, side skirts, and rear diffuser. And then it has a uh, set of carbon mirrors. I love these with fixed wings. There's something about them, they just look really, really cool. Yeah, it just gives it that sort of more aggressive style. Yeah, um, absolutely. And it's not too much either, like it, it just looks smart. No, so really, the, really smart. the Automotive Passion do the sort of Audi Sport wing as well. Yeah, um, I like the Swan But that one. sort of, uh, I prefer the slightly less aggressive style. Yeah. Uh, yeah. More of a sort of, just suits it a bit better. Yeah, awesome. And I suppose you've done a lot of carbon inside as well. Yeah, you? so uh, <laughs> inside uh, it's the, uh, the carbon feeds carried on with carbon wow. steering wheel, carbon paddles, carbon skins, door handles, center yeah. console, carbon skins, seat backs. Oh, crikey, look at that. That is epic. <laughs> Love it. Carbon rear bar nice. and German flag net um, by JC Club Sport that with awesome. uh, carbon false floor in there as well. Yeah, mate, that is epic. Really, really cool. I think that's pretty much everything. Yeah, I yeah? think that's pretty think much that's it. it, yeah. <laughs> Wicked. All right, let's get it fired up and uh, go for a quick spin. Yep. Close the valves um, and just sort of drive along yeah. normally and nice and quiet. Yeah, this is literally perfect power for it. Yeah, like perfect. The roads every are day. really wet at the moment and it and just, just straight up hook up. Um, probably get a little bit of slip in first um, yeah. and then from there on it just sort of hooks and goes. Hooks up and goes, yeah. And you're saying you're running some Octane Booster at the moment? Running Octane Booster at yeah. the moment, so it's an Octane Booster map which is 555, yeah. 750 newton meters. That's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, it was mapped originally on a standard airbox, yeah. um, but I just wanted to get a sort of a bit more intake noise as well. Yeah, yeah. Gone to a, an open cone with like a custom filter. I suppose really, you don't have to do that much really to unlock this power and sound. Not a huge amount at all, no. Um, I mean, they make good power on stage one with nothing yeah. on them. Um, yeah. Just the intercooler and uh, air filter and downpipe just allow it to, mm. to breathe a bit better and with the intercooler make it a bit more consistent. Yeah. yeah um, so it. you're not sort of losing it for a heat soak. Yeah, absolutely. It just squats down, doesn't it? Yeah, it just squats and goes <laughs> with the uh, sort of track pads and bigger this setup as well. Stops, yeah. stops well. I mean, the, the brakes on these, like the, the calipers are standard, are huge. Huge, yeah, yeah, eight yeah. piston calipers, yeah, um, four pads per uh, per caliper as well, which makes them more expensive as yeah. well, which that is unfortunately, true. but yeah, that they is work true. well. <laughs> It just makes <laughs> such a good noise as well. Yeah, so you've got like the sort of deep warble lower down and yeah. then sort of there's almost like a V10 scream higher it, up. It goes really high pitch. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I was saying to you, and I'll, I'll probably get 
shouted at for this, but it, it is a, a mini R8. Really. Mini R8, yeah. It's yeah. very similar same track, um, yeah. sort of similar setup in looks interior wise. Mm. I really rate them to be fair, and yeah, they've got huge potential as well. Aren't they? Yeah, definitely. There's some big power ones running out there now. There have been big power ones in US for a long time, and some yeah. big power UK ones. I think 950 um, brake, 1000 brake, that kind of reason. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is absolutely insane. draggies on this uh yeah so i've done 2.9 to 60. 2.9 yeah um and that was uh it was a bit damp so it was getting it was wow. with a bit of slip to be fair so like today I suppose. yeah yeah and wow. 6.100 to 200. yeah and that's just on the ps4s's that's on the ps4s's yeah. on 20 inch wheels yeah wow that was on the standard uh 20 inch wheels at the time as well um, 2.9 <laughs> <laughs> So I'm pl planning to, if I can get a nice sort of colder, yeah. uh, nice day, um, to put the uh, semi slicks on and see yeah. if we can get it a bit lower. Yeah, maybe 2.8. Yeah. 2.7. There's hopefully. a few. Yeah, they've gone around the 2.7 mark. So it's, yeah. You know, it'd be nice to get get around there. That's incredible. You can just hold it in in gear, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> Out a little bit that back there. Yeah, it gives you the, the noise comes through a bit better. Yeah, you get a bit more resonance. Absolutely awesome. But yeah, mate, thank you so much for uh, for taking me out of this. Yeah. It's an absolute machine. <laughs> As always in these kind of videos, you can find Will's Instagram link down in the description for me today. That is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like. Make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come.